I just want to say God is good. He's He's an awesome God. And that I'm reading from First Corinthians chapter one through four, verse nine. I thank God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything you are enriched by Him, in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was affirmed to you, so that you may you come behind in no gifts, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you. Unto the dead, uh, unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go, God is faithful, by whom ye were called unto fellowship of the Son Jesus Christ our Lord. I don't know about you, but Thanksgiving is just not one day a year. Thanksgiving is every day. You need to be thankful every day for God, what God does in your life. I don't know about you, but sometimes I, um, this morning, I went to get some type of Speedway gas station, and as soon as I, a few minutes after I got out of the car, some lady asked if I could help her to get some gas. My first thought was, does she really need this gas? You know, you know, if I thought, does she really need it? What's she going to do with it? And she said she's going to Genesis Hospital. And um, normally, I probably would not ever say I wouldn't have that much money, but thankfully I had the money. I had a few dollars. I don't have a lot of money, but sometimes when God prompts you to do something, you need to do it. You know, we need to be generous. Don't let those little things, what are they going to do? Are they going to use that money for drugs, alcohol, or, you know, are they going to go to a bar? We can't think about those things. We need to be obedient. What they do with it, it's up to them and God. You just need to be obedient. Trust God will figure it out. So I went to the gas pump, swiped my speedy card, and then swiped my debit card, put at least three, three gallons of gas in it, and it's just say, pay it forward. Help someone else out. I have no idea what they did. All I can do is be obedient. Don't don't worry what they do do with it. It's between them and God. You need to be obedient. If God tells you to do something, please do it. And trust God will handle the rest. And be thankful that He gives you the excess, the extra to help other people. You know, I don't, I can't help everyone, but I can help a few people once in a while. God has blessed me so much. I am thankful for all he does. This year has been incredible. Every year for the last few years, he keeps on raising the bar, setting the bar higher. Okay. <laughs> Every year he overdoes what he did last year. So this year was great. I can't wait to see what he does next year. It's going to be awesome because God is an awesome God. So keep trusting God. Keep praying for this country. Even though it's cold outside in Michigan right now. It's warm, in, it's warm in our homes, and if you're thankful you have a home, it's warm. There are a lot of people who are homeless. We need to pray for those homeless people, that God will take care of those people too. And God is awesome. So keep praying, keep praying for a new president, and keep trusting God will do what his will is, bringing his people back. There's a great revival coming, folks. Are you ready for the revival? Let's keep trusting God and keep praying. Thanks.